Welcome back, Rockstars, to some more Anubis Pixelmon. I'm super excited today. We're going to get a brand new Pokemon to the squad and take on some more gyms. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, Rockstars, so last time we weren't focusing on story mode, or when we weren't, we were finding ourselves a brand new Squirtle, who's at level 1. We need to EV train him, get him leveled up. So it's kind of a bit of a process, but it shouldn't be too bad overall. And I'm super excited about this because it adds another special attacker to our team, which is super nice. And then we also have a full team of six when we actually take on the rest of the Pokemon gems in the future who need a team of six instead of a team of three. So there's one easy way to get training on our Squirtle and he's level one. So to get past the levels right away, because EV training at level one and switch training and rare candies, that's all really annoying. So we don't want to use our rare candies in one, right away. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw Squirtle out. All these XP candies that we've got, we're going to go ahead and use these because we might as well. So small XP candy, boom, let's go and level you up. And that took you up to level four. That's not that bad at all. I'll take that. And let's use an XP large and boom let's oh my god oh my god level 12 13 14 15 how many levels are you gonna get from this dude 20 21 22 20 you went all the way up from level 4 to 23 is one of these candies that is absolutely insane bite over tackle absolutely water pulse over water gun for sure uh, protect over withdrawal sure and rain dance absolutely over protect actually because rain dance is really good for us and now we get a squirtle evolution and we're not stuck in the ground which is awesome awesome so now we're gonna go ahead and get a boy of war turtle which is sick so that makes it a lot easier to do ev training so now we can go ahead and get ev training on this guy and prepare him for our gym battles so to get ev training on this guy we're gonna need a couple items as always so if we come in here he wants speed and special attack so we want the power anklet for ev training speed and the power lens for ev training our special attack because blastoise is better for special attack and speed you don't want to you could kind of give him defenses because in all reality he has a good defense but that's not what we're looking for. So we're going to come to space EV training here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to head over here and go to speed training. The reason for this is, is because speed's usually easier. We can just throw the power lens on him so we train speed and special attack at the same time, making our lives a lot easier and overall a much quicker pace. I absolutely love that the IVs on this war total are 31 on every stat except for attack. That's 28 out of 31. So he's almost a perfect one. Plus he has rain dish, his hidden ability. So if you guys don't know what that means, that means if we use rain dance and it's rain not only does it boost our power of our water type moves it also goes ahead and actually heals us kind of like a leftover so it's actually really really good for us so now we just gotta dive into all these pokemon start training them and getting our speed evs we shouldn't take too long at all okay guys we officially hit 248 special attack for our boys so now all we gotta do is go ahead and take down one or two more pokemons and that should give us our 252 in that category there we go so now we can go ahead and take the special attack which is the power lens off put the speed anklet on and now we're gonna fly through this guy's speed EVs like crazy because we'll get safe say from the dinner. Then it gives us one, and then we get four more from that alone. So we get basically five or more EV points every time we battle a Pokemon. So we're just gonna fly right through this, get the max of 252, and then we gotta level him up. And there we go, Rockstars. We now have a fully EV trained and special in speed for our war total. So now what we wanna go ahead and do is take this guy off. We don't need this stupid little anklet anymore. We're gonna throw a nice big old lucky egg on this thing. We're gonna come over here to warp training now and we're gonna go ahead and get this guy up to level 50 to 55 like the rest of our teammates and then we are all good we're gonna go ahead and take on a gym today now leveling this guy up shouldn't be too hard at all considering we have a few physical moves and we actually have a high physical attack even though we didn't train it mainly because we're a special attacker yes but blissies and chances have special defense and they get the best xp out of everything here especially with lucky eggs so we kind of want a physical move plus having bite or crunch or something like that is always good for diversity and necessarily just in case you might need it so we're gonna run through here get all of our experience and hopefully we won't have too much of a long time waiting trying to get this guy leveled up we have high levels and a lucky egg so we should be all good well now at least we're evolving into our boy blastoise let's go war turtle and we actually get to see the evolution did it stick me in the ground like it usually does and boom there's our little blast toys flash cannon now that's an interesting move actually because i have a move set i really like right now actually rain dance because of our hidden ability it heals and boosts our water type moves so we really don't want to get rid of that on top of that as well water pulse is our only special attack watering move at the moment yeah we'll eventually replace it probably for something better in the end but at the same time it's 60 power and it has a chance to cause confusion so it's pretty solid right now we just learned shell smash if you guys don't know what shell smash is basically you lower your defense and special 
special defense, but you sharply raise your attack speed in special attack. I think it first came in in Gen 5, was it Unova, when they had the, uh, what is it, Pokemon? It's the rock crab one with the, the shell that it makes. Not shelter, obviously, but whatever. I hope you guys know what I mean. So, I, it's pretty solid. And then, Bite. Bite is just a physical move that we don't want to directly get rid of. But, Flash can is Steel. We don't have Steel moves anywhere. So, that'd be really good against Fairy. And really good against Poison. Which would be nice to have something super effective against them. I could also lower their special defense. And, it's a special attacking move. So, it's actually really good to have on Blastoise. Okay, Rockstars. I've decided we're going to keep Flash Hand and get rid of Bite. I know it's not good for leveling up. But, at the same time, it's not what we need the the move for we can't just do it based off level up so we're gonna do it based off basically anything that we need so flash can um, we can also reset moves anytime mover learners tms so there's plenty of ways we can re-go through things and later on if we need to but i think right now this is a solid move set and i don't want to get rid of it and it's official everyone we have a level 55 blast doors look at the boy so now what we need to do is basically go through our items at home Find out a good hold item for him for battle, and then we gotta get into our gym. Okay, Rockstars, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to take on the Rock Gym. The Rock Gym is perfect for us. Last time we tried to take him on, we didn't have too many good Pokemon for this, but now we have a pretty solid setup that we can actually get on here. So I think we can beat this guy. So I think we need to decide which three Pokemon we're gonna use, though. So being a Rock Tide Gym, obviously we don't wanna bring Charizard because he's quad weak. Salamence, sort of weak because he's flying, but he's also over leveled. And Lycanroc's really good, but he doesn't really fit into this gym at all. Okay, guys, let's do this. I'm going to take on Breloom, I think, is who I'm going to send in first for this. Okay, three. Yep, let's go Breloom. And let's see how this goes. Okay, to start off this Minor, let's get that Leech Seed set up there. Acrobatics, that's going to hurt because that's quite effective. Great. Okay, so they already took down my Minor. Um, not my Minor, my... <sighs> Flipping Breloom because of a quad effective move. So I guess Blast Toys. Actually, Gengar Hypnosis would have been a really good move. Should we set up Rain Dance right away or should I just go with a Hydro Pump and hope I finish it off? He's really dangerous, Minor. Uh, let's go Hydro Pump. And that hurt a lot. And we finished him off. No, we didn't. He survived with 0.7 HP. Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll finish him off with no matter what move we have. So let's go ahead. We should. We should live because we healed. Let's rain dance it. And we died. Wow. I wasn't expecting to die from that. Really? Okay. This is not good for us. Let's just go Dark Pulse. And he outsped Gengar. Wow. I am in utter shock the fact that he outsped Gengar. Okay, so we can't beat the Rock-type gym. Maybe if we let off with Blastoise to Gengar, that would have been different, but let's try a different gym. Okay, guys, we're taking on the normal gym. I am, like I said before, determined to get a gym badge today, absolutely no matter what. So let's see what we can do here, because this is normal, right? So our best bet's fighting, Ghost, and then obviously Blastoise is just overall a new Pokemon we want to use. And out of everyone on our squad, we don't want to bring in anyone else. Charizard and Life and Arc, it could be good, but they don't have any specific use for this battle. Let's get into this. Okay, um, can I get a better camera angle, please? Or not? Fine. So, normal type. Let's go ahead and start off with this hypnosis. See if we can go here. With Drew Lopany and sent out Chansey. Well, that's fine, because we just put Chansey to sleep. So, we'll go ahead and switch out to Breloom here. There we go. Beautiful. Let's set up a Leech Seed here, so we can get that down pretty easily. There we go. Now, we don't have to worry about that. Let's go Sky Uppercut and almost finish him off. One more Sky Uppercut, and I'll finish off Chansey. Even if it wakes up, we're pretty solid here so i'm not too worried about it bye bye chancy so what is next the lopany is back so let's go ahead and sky up and cut this guy we're not going to waste time with poison powder maybe we should have because he's mega evolving already are you kidding me okay come on come on i need you to live and get one hit that's all i care about just a single sky uppercut and we lit we took that we took that okay mega drain and we didn't take that next one and because they flinched us we couldn't move before so let's send out gengar now so let's go ahead and go hypnosis and he killed us in a single shot fantastic blastoise come on out here let's go hydro pump we lived it but there's no way we one shot this thing and yes we did okay what's next and it's a ditto okay so we gotta really think about this ditto's very first move is gonna be transformed absolutely no matter what so do we go for shell smash to increase our damage or do we just go for two hits and do we go for flash cannon or hydro pump let's go for hydro pump since the first move is completely free because he's got to transform before he can attack so there we go and come on please hit it did he use shell smash and hydro pump that didn't do anything from him okay 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 he's gonna have the same sets of move as us so let's go rain dance i want to start healing myself might as well he is what is he doing over and over again he is just making his stats more okay let's go hydro pump again come on he keeps using shell smash 
I'm so confused. He didn't transform yet. He's just using smells around. I'm not going to complain. There we go. We got to win. We have officially be the normal type gym everyone there we go and i think that's a great way to go ahead and end off today's episode one more gym in our bag another new pokemon so i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below and let me know who do you think we should be adding to the future team and i'll see you all next time rockstars peace peace